Well, welcome back, everyone, to the forest. Welcome back. We've basically completed most of the caves, except for the single cave, which we're going to be completing today. As well as made some gliders, which, uh, well, wasn't really worth it, I would say. <laughs> if we're maybe good at yep. it again, maybe it's going to be good. But uh, for now, let's head towards the single cave, and let's try giving gliding one more try, because that's going to speed things up. There we go, we kind of learn how to glide again. <laughs> it's just fucking dangerous because of all the trees. If our glider hits one of these trees, we're basically fucking boned. Yeah, I am boned. Oh shit. Oh, so many closed dodges. Although I don't think the wings particularly count. So, wow. I'm at the containers right now. I mean, pretty flipping far though. I'm like almost at the Sinko Cave. It's ridiculous. Let's see, the Sinko Cave should be like right here. Well, let's head into the cave. This is not the entrance to the cave. What the fuck? Ah, oh, it's right over here. I guess I just landed a little too far. I went over the cave then. Well, everyone, welcome to the Sinko Cave. Are you greeted with a fuck ton of passengers right off the bat? Alright, let's head farther into God the sinkhole. We're serious. <laughs> Shouldn't step on the flares though, Jeff. Oh, I'm here. Nice. Uh, I think there's some more stuff up here though, so you might want to come back real quick. Yeah, I can't come back up. Like, this is a Timmy toy part. Oh, you're... <laughs> I see you now. I thought you were all on, not get connected to this part, but I guess not. Uh, there should be water down there though. Oh, I'm up. Ah, oh, nice. Let's go the other way then first, because I think that has something important. I think there's the tennis racket there, maybe? Why am I keep holding this fucking paintbrush, though? And then we've got the Timmy toy part, which is like the most important part that I really want to have. Oh my god, I fell down here. <laughs> That's, I can't see fucking shit even with the light here. Uh, well, I'm at the rope, so if you just jump towards me, even if you do go down and don't grab the rope, you can uh, get saved. Do be careful, though. Nope. Alright, well. Look at this. One of the doors broke in here. Bunch of the cannibals. Watch out, there's babies there, too. Alright, there's multiple ways we can go. Well, let's go here first. At least I think it was... No, this is where we came from, never mind. It's a little farther here. Make sure you wear your scuba suit. Alright, all well, are here. And this is a location where you can find the modern a or the modern bow. Which is pretty neat. Let's also light this real quick. I honestly don't know why they kept the modern bow in this cave. This is kind of the last cave you were supposed to go to. Yeah. And you can get the crossbow, as well as the flintlock, way sooner. Even way sooner than we got it, to be fair. But I guess those items were probably added way later than uh, the modern bow. To be fair, modern bow is still a pretty good weapon, especially for what is to come. Watch out, he's next to you. There we go, two shots with the flintlock. Easy peasy. Weirdly enough, though, uh, it doesn't kill a regular cannonball, or cannonball in one hit. It used to do that, though. It used to be really overpowered, the flintlock. To where, like, I think four shots the boss, like the final boss of the game. But they uh, nerfed it pretty fucking fast, though. For good reason, <laughs> I guess. That's pretty sick as well. And also, another Timmy's toy part. And that also means that we have all the parts now. We can combine it. And create yep. the full That's Timmy's the toy. For some reason you can combine it with another one or something. I don't know why. Don't even know if you literally can. Can you gift those items? The full toy? Or toy parts? I already have it all complete. I can't gift the toy though. Uh, wanted to see what would happen. Here's another door. You kind of need a good rock supply, it feels. It's uh, not, of course. Yep. 
But now we're in the bottom of the sinkhole. Anyway, let's go. Why is this water so flippin' blue? Looks so weird. I don't know. Oh, it's probably because it's getting daytime and I have this thing on. Anyway, if you jump in the water in the middle, there's a cave. I remember that we found this. And, like, it was still in the making, so we couldn't enter it. Yep. That's what happened quite a lot, though. I wonder if the same thing's gonna happen with Sons of the Forest. Or if they're just gonna release a more finished product. Probably. I kinda hope yeah. not, because... That really made you look forward to the next update and checking things out again. But also, it was kind of annoying in one way. I don't know, it had, like... Good things and bad things, I'd say. This game is always so fucking random, like there's cowmen sometime, and then now there ain't any cowmen, but there's a bunch of cannibals. God damn it, <laughs> it's too deep. Let's check what's inside this vault door. Ooh. Quite bright in here. I really like red spades. Yeah, I guess that's the reason why that one cannibal is red, right? It's because it's like the only paint they have around here. So this is really different from what you would kind of expect the forest to be up to this point, right? Yeah. A fucking underground facility suddenly. It is a very linear part though, so that is in one way quite sad. Can you fucking taking all the mach taking all the snacks out of the machine? Remember the door back here where we thought we could maybe yeah. enter it, but then turns out it's just decoration, I guess. And look at John. John is our fucking nightmare. Because now that we're here, we technically unlocked John, I guess. Here's some creepy guy, but... Oh shit, don't you fucking do that. Oh, he's fucking dead. He just came around the corner and I immediately shot him and he's fucking dead. Like, oh shit. So look at this, though. This is also pretty insane. But if people are speculating that this guy here, Dink Dink, is coming to uh, Sons of the Forest. I'm not so sure, that though, but... That would be really fucked up. <laughs> that would be really fucked up. What even happened in here? I don't even know. Creeping shit. And here and there's... is our Timmy. Well... Since we are two, two Mexicans, I think this is just the <laughs> son of a, one, one of the passengers. <laughs> yeah, probably, I guess. Making this scene uh, kind of weird in a way. Maybe we just adopted him. He's our adopted child. Probably. Well, Jeff, hop in. We need a life sample. Okay. <laughs> this is uh, still one of the things that kind of works out. The cutscene is pretty nice, and the music flows really well, I feel. It's just, how the fuck does he look at this, and it's like, hmm, yes, this will bring my son back to life. Let's put all these tubes on him. I don't know. It's weird. That's kind of the only flaw I feel like it has. Also, doesn't have the tape. Daddy is dead. This is the red cannibal that uh, stole Timmy. Fuck you, mate. Anyway, he's pretty fucking dead. Has a couple crayons in his head. One well, of those a bunch of either red paint footprints or they're bloody footprints. But seeing as everything is covered in red paint, let's I have assume. Paint. Uh, let's assume Megan is here because this is a picture of her dad. Be cool, these are always boss rooms. Hey, the door is closed. Oh. <laughs> yeah, first time we walked in here, we were like, oh, this is definitely going to be the boss room. Because let's face it, this is massive. Even for this boss fight, though, it's really massive. This cut seems still well. so fucked up, though. But here it is, the fucking final boss. Being obnoxiously loud as fuck. Yep. Ow, oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Doing the most bullshit attack. 
Well, just use a gun on it. Or uh, whatever you use, I guess. I'm using all my arrows on you. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, I'm fucking being knocked down over and over again. Oh, wait, what the fuck? That was easy. <laughs> That's it? <laughs> it's supposed to be ten times harder, even with the fuck. We only had one gun, too. Imagine if we had fucking two. I just were only shutting all my arrows on it. Well, we have uh, Megan now. Weird thing, though, as well, is we need a life sample, and I'm pretty sure she's fucking dead. Or at least, you know, brought back the life somewhat, but also yeah. not really. So, I don't know. It's a really fucking weird ending. But basically, Megan got brought back to life by Timmy, and now you can use Megan again to bring Timmy back to life. I still wonder how is Timmy still alive with all the spikes in his uh, Yeah. Well, he's not really alive, he's dead. Or at least you think, right, that Megan is the solution here. But it doesn't work. Because we need a life sample. Well, now we got the golden key card. We can head this direction. And then I can see a little bit. This is... Uh, Presumably, like, where they dug up the artifact, right? And there's a bunch of these guys around. Kind of like what happened to the guys praying at the painting of the artifact. Although, I don't know how they turned to stone that way. Maybe it just, like, got a, like, blast radius or something that made him a stone. I don't know. Sounds pretty fucking odd, dude. Well, here we are, back in the facility. Okay. Some hats. Do you look exactly like the guys in the lawyer's cave? And a pretty messed up view here. It used to be way worse though. There used to be so many more bodies. This one. I remember the first time we were here. We were just like we stood in the back corner and just shot or like uh we we're holding the arrows down like this, like drawn. Because you never know what the heck's coming out of there, right? Nope. Ten times. Just suddenly, just nothing. <laughs> just a whole disappointment. Oh, yeah, that was quite disappointing, I guess. Well, as you can see now, we're at the mountain tops here, and it's really odd that you cannot see this from down below. Because you'd think you see this giant black room, right? But also look at that. Well, this is the console. We see a ship with. Three kids identified as a match. We can activate it, but you also have a different choice. You can shut it down. But we're not doing that. We're here to save Timmy. Yep. Press the button. We will release a separate video of what happens when you choose the other ending, though. So don't worry about it. Yep. <laughs> we will. But this is just for the story. Yep. This is how it properly ends, and how you get the final cutscene, and basically the good ending. And here goes another thing. Yep. This is the forest too, everyone. But for one thing, that's hella strong glass. <laughs> it fucking is. It would be funny if you saw like the second plane too. Or that you had like to do a additional thing, just like go to the plane and shit. Yeah, they could have definitely done that. One year later. My next guest is a TV star, author, and real-life plane crash survivor. Here to talk to us about his new book, Rescue, along with his son, Timmy. Please, 
Give it up for Eric LeBlanc. LeBlanc. You hear all this clapping, but no one's fucking moving. It's just yeah. fake claps and fake screams. <laughs> nice to meet you, man. That's one hell of a story. So let's jump right into it. You've written a harrowing tale of survival and adventure with a play crash. Look, you can see it on the cover. I feel like you're really blurring the lines here between fact and fiction. Oh, is that yes? Hey, do y'all want a demonstration? Okay, we've got a setup right over here. Come on, don't leave me hanging. Come on, everyone. All of you want to see this too, right? What do you say? Well, come on, everyone. You've seen enough tree chopping. <laughs> <laughs> those are just locks, you can't even chop those oh, down further. Grab Timmy and let's head on over. Watch your step now. He's so happy to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Never <laughs> chopped a tree in his life. I got my axe. Where do you hold this thing? Oh, oh, like this? Here we go. It really looks at his man. He's gonna become an axe murderer. <laughs> yeah. Everybody out. The forest. Yep. This really looks like the game was just a whole fucking tutorial. <laughs> yep. That told me something though. This song's so fucking good though. Yeah. There it is, Sons of the Forest, I guess. Probably. And that's where that's the entire game also some fun facts i guess every time it cut to black that is technically when the cutscene ended they just kept adding upon it in future updates yeah. so <laughs> after a couple updates if you came back the ending would be extended up until the final point but anyway i hope you all enjoyed the forest stay tuned for next episode where we're going to be doing the alternative ending and getting a special item that you can only get by choosing the alternative ending. Hope you all enjoyed, and see you all in the next one. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. <laughs>